Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the keyword research tool on Surf SEO. So Surf SEO is kind of like an analytics tool for SEO, and basically what you're able to do is do a load of things such as like SERP analysis, a content editor section, which is fantastic, and for this section we'll be showing you the keyword research. Uh, for the other two sections, so the SERP analyzer and the content editor, just check out our other videos, we actually have reviews on them too, and they're really, really in-depth and show you kind of uh, how to use it exactly down to a T. Uh, but the keyword research tool currently is quite simple, quite easy to use, so this one won't be taking too long. And I'm um, basically just going to show you how to set that up for your keywords and how to analyze through that. So uh, when you're on the keyword research section and you're signed in, all you need to do is type in your keyword you're interested in finding keyword research for. So again, like the other two videos, I'm going to just go for tennis court maintenance. And again, like the other two videos, I'm going to select my location. Uh, as I've mentioned, you can actually have specific areas within the country. So you can see through here, for example, in England, we have like, you know, Glasgow, Leeds, London, you know, Manchester. But we're going to go for the United Kingdom here for this one, as obviously that's kind of a, the nationwide term that we're looking for. So once we've done that, we're just going to press create. And as you can see, everything pops up instantly. There's no waiting time. And it basically gives you all the information you need, really. So as you can see, the term tennis got maintenance here. You can see it has a uh, search volume of 90 and a global volume there of 140. So it actually gives you the search volume for your location that you've selected and also the global uh, volume in total if you're looking for a worldwide or global term. Uh, on top of that, it gives you some similar keywords. So these are kind of ideas. Oh, you know, this is great for content, but, uh, you know, you can use this for content or you can use this for backlinking, whatever you kind of really want to do for anchor text, etc. But it gives you these similar keywords and kind of obviously their SERP similarity. So, you know, the similarity of the, of the phrase in relation to what you're doing and then obviously the search volume uh, of that as well there. So 20 there and obviously some more down here. So you can actually order that through search volume if you'd like. And then obviously you could pop up the best ones for search volume or the set of the best ones for SERP similarity, whichever kind of way you want to look at it. Uh, by clicking on one of them, by clicking on that actual keyword there, as you can see, it gives up uh, some more similar keywords. It kind of acts as a big chain, really, where you can have a look, uh, find out some similar keywords to what you're ranking for. And like I said, uh, you can choose to use this in your content, in your articles. You can use this for, you know, variations of anchor text or whatever you want to be on creating new pages. It's kind of an endless uh, cycle, really. But yeah, that's to be honest, that's pretty much it with the um, keyword research tool. It's just very easy to use, very simple. Uh, we have had word that they're going to be adding to this in the future, so there will be new features uh, available for you. But to be honest, that's kind of uh, the you know the general outgoing with that. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. Uh, very similar to other sites, and yeah, just a very very nice tool to use, really. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.